Every smooth, responsive map has one thing in common. It uses the correct tile set. Raster tiles are images like JPEGs or PNGs that are pre-rendered on the server and then sent to the client side. Vector tiles are data points that are served to the client and then placed on the map, such as polygons, data points, or line strings. Knowing the difference between the two can help your map's performance and enhance your user experience. First up, what is a tile set? Funnily enough, it's a set of tiles. These tiles are rendered in a grid on the map. And as you zoom and move your map around, these tiles will render and then de-render depending on your zoom level or where you are on the map. This allows your map to only use what it needs and only render the data points or the images that you are actually seeing on your screen. Each tile represents a fixed area at a certain zoom level. So as you zoom in, there will be more tiles with a higher resolution. And as you zoom out, there will be less detailed and less tiles as well. So what is a raster tile set? Think of JPEGs, think of PNGs. These are images that are going to be rendered on a server specifically served to a map. And these images are going to be layered over specific tiles in specific areas. This can help performance because the rendering is done on the server side and then just served to the client. And it is highly applicable in weather applications or when you're layering existing data or old maps per se over new maps. Most cases where you need an actual image or satellite data to be layered on the map rather than data points or geospatial information. The downside or the con of using raster tile sets is that they are pre-rendered images so there isn't a lot of customization that you can actually do whilst on the client side because the images are pre-rendered on the server. So although they're efficient, they lack flexibility. Vector tiles on the other hand is raw data. It gets served to your client and you can customize it how you want because these are data points. These are polygons. These are line strings. You can customize them as layers inside of your map. Whereas with raster tiles, their images sent to the client side. They're pre-rendered, they're pre-made, but your vector tile sets can be customized as soon as they get to the client side, which allows for far more flexibility when you're doing geospatial data analysis. And unlike raster tile sets, you are not limited by your resolution of your image. As it is a vector, the more you zoom in, you're not going to lose that resolution. It's gonna stay just the same and look amazing. Quite often you'll see raster tile sets being used for weather maps, historical maps, or satellite imagery where you have actual images being layered and then placed over the map to give a realistic experience or when they require actual live imagery. Vector tiles are really useful when you're working with large data sets and you need to show that on a map with a flexibility and being able to filter and also not lose performance, and not overload the map as well. Also, when you're looking at foot traffic or traffic analysis as well, these are likely to be vector data sets as well. The main focus on vector tile sets is performance and responsiveness. In many real world maps, you would probably see a multitude of both of these tile sets. You'll have a satellite base layer, which uses a raster tile set. And this is why when you zoom in and then you zoom back out, you can see the actual imagery changing. And this is because it's your you're seeing different tiles on the map. If you'd like to see the blog post where I go into this in more depth and detail, be sure to check the description. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.